A hundred teens and adult volunteers are putting in the time repairing homes across the low country, all at no cost to the homeowner. News 2's Mason McCall visited the construction sites today to learn more about how HomeWorks is growing our community. Putting in time, energy, and sweat to make a house feel more like a home. Dozens of teens from across the country are repairing nine houses this week on John's, James, and Wadmala Islands with the faith-based organization HomeWorks. This is actually the first year I haven't worked on a roof, um, so I know how to de-shingle and re-shingle a roof. Um, just some basic things about cutting and redoing some floors. Often, you know, the beginning of the week, they may not want to use a power tool. By the end of the week, if their parents have given them permission, they're able to use power tools and, and, and cut and, and do some things that they thought they'd never be able to do. Using their own hands to craft stairs, fix floors, and refinish bathrooms at no charge, while building relationships with people in need. She's really sweet, and she doesn't earn a lot of money at all. And she's, she's trying to support herself, and she has back issues, so she can't work anymore. And so we came and we're, we're helping her get her house back to what it was when she bought it. All of the homeowners are disabled or elderly and on a fixed income. In fact, the average income for most of the homeowners receiving repairs is about $12,000 a year. They're just so happy every time you come in. She's got a big smile on her face and she's just happy about what we're doing. Teaching teens the value of a hard day's work. It feels good because I know that I did this and I'm really proud of it. While helping them to grow into more compassionate adults. And what you see is a transformation of um, a world being all about themselves. And then all of a sudden they see the world is, is much bigger than that. And, and through helping other people, they're able to see that, that you know, they can make a difference. Macy McLeod, count on two.